Welcome to another edition here of Summer Tipping on RV TV. And today we've brought Michael Sharkey to the scene of racing here on Saturday, of course, Flemington Racecourse, to try and drive some more inspiration out of you this week after last week's little hit and miss mission that uh, you had on RV TV. G'day, Michael. How are you going? How's it going? Well, yes, it's a lovely day out here at Flemington. I hope the weather holds up, although the wind could drop off a bit. I'm just starting to worry about my hair on camera at the moment. <laughs> well, let's hope being here at Flemington helps you uh, sort of source that inspiration that we need for a couple of winners here on Saturday, of course. Semi-feature race day featuring the listed Kensington Stakes and you've uh, dissected the form and you've come up with a best bet for us. Yeah, we're going with the last start Flemington winner as a best bet in race five, a horse flying coney down the bottom of the weights there. Uh, this bloke's really improving. He's on the up and up. Lightly race, but important, he's very consistent. His main danger is going to be Smoke and Joey, who we know has got good ability. He's got some form in some group races around the place, but that horse is very hit and miss. Uh, we know Flying Coney tries his best every time he goes around, and uh, on the back of a really strong win here at Flemington last start, I think he's the way to go around the $4 mark. And Craig knew it in the saddle, aiming to reach the 100 winner mark nationally, maybe this weekend, so hopefully that'll be a good start for him in race five on Saturday here at Flemington. What about an each way special here at uh, headquarters on Saturday, Michael? Yeah, over to the last uh, sidecar for Peter Moody, it's not often that Peter comes to the races and doesn't go home with a winner or two. Sidecar could be the way to finish off the day this week. He's getting out to some good each way odds around that $758 mark. Been placed both runs back from a spell this prep and uh, last prep he, he just took some time to warm up there at Mornington so I think the 1800 will suit. He shouldn't miss a place. And uh, one on odds, uh, you found something that normally goes around at uh, some sort of figure too uh, one of the David Hayes runners here on Saturday. Yeah, token of honour in uh, race seven. He's racing well at the moment. Again, consistent. 2,000 metres last start probably doesn't suit. He's, he might just struggle to run a strong 2,000 metres when ridden close to the speed. But he did win here a couple of starts back over 1,700. So getting back to the scene of his latest victory, Dwayne Dunn is an important addition too. He comes back on. He did ride the horse to victory that start. Kate Mallion rode it last start. And I think that, uh, that senior head back on, he's around that 10 or $12 mark as well. He's, he's a great chance in that race. OK, so from Michael Sharkey from theshark.com.au, Flying Coney, the best side car, the each way special and a roughy at odds for Token of Honour. Now, as I said earlier, we do have a listed race here over 1,000 metres, the Kensington Stakes, and we've asked you again for uh, your top four in that. Yeah, I'm putting Canali on top again at some each way odds. I think the horse just went too keen here in the Standish last start. He got very, very hot before that race, sweated up and uh, just raced really fiercely in front. He did stay on well, and at the 200 metres, that obviously being a 1,200 metre race, he was still up there with the leaders, challenging uh, Catapulted, who eventually raced to an easy win. So just dropping back to the 1,000 metres, getting a good sit from Barrier 6, he might be one to surprise at some each-way odds. Uh, for the placings, I've for absolutely forgotten about what I've put in for second half. First command? First command, with the blinkers back on. He was uh, obviously going for back-to-back -back wins in the Dufton Stakes at Caulfield last start. Was in front again till, till about 1,000 metres of that race and just sort of hit the wall. Blinkers on, fitter for that run. We know he's a good sprinter down the straight. He's the next best. And then we go down to Star Giselle, an improving sort from the Elodin Zara team. Uh, she hit the line nicely over 1,000 first up. Will improve and General Truce, who is uh, currently leading the 55-second challenge at Mooney Valley. Be running on nicely at the end. Well, the Flyers are out here on uh, Thursday afternoon at Flemington. We hope you're also here. Thank you, Michael, from theshark.com.au. We look forward to seeing you again this time next week.